Okay, um, so we can start the meeting. Um, I'm not sure if Dragon's coming or not, um, but we can get started. Um, we don't have anyone here who's not uh, part of the committee other than Heavy Media. Um, uh, but anyone have a public comment? One public comment. Great. Um, approval of the minutes from May 11th. Thank you, Amy. Uh, motion to approve. Um, I had a couple questions in here that I didn't hear back from folks on. Yeah. Uh, about the the RFP for the the senior center. Yep, that I switched. That I that I, I Well, is that true? Is there one going out for the senior? Um, center? I don't know, Amy. Do you know if there's an RFP going out to this for the senior center uh, before ours goes out? Um, I'm not sure. Is it for for what particular project? I, I'm not sure. So when I met with Jennifer, she said um, that there were several projects ahead of ours. Um, and so she said the Goodwin, um, the columns. columns, and then she mentioned something about the senior center, but she didn't specify what it was. So I wasn't sure if that required an RFP or not. I bet it's that sidewalk in the front there, the walkway that's all cracked. Oh, okay. Okay. Or the solar panels. Oh. oh, maybe that's what it was. Are they not working? I think they're up. And they won't be working. All right. There. Did they? They. Well, I don't. I don't think they even. You know. I don't think they put the RFP together yet. I don't know. I'm not sure where that's at. I don't think, you know, boy, it doesn't seem fair that uh, we were promised everything would be ready by fall. And if, and if we're number three or number four, yeah, it'll be fall for a couple of years from now, really. Um, but the purpose, for the purpose of the minutes, I think we can just keep out the senior center. Thing. Okay. I, I guess we didn't even discuss that okay. at the last meeting. What was the um, other question? So there's there's one sentence here that says the RSC is very disappointed in the two optimistic predictions given by the town administrator to help preserve the Russell School building from further deterioration. deterioration. Um, I just thought it was a little too opinionated, uh, even though I agree with what was said. Didn't um, we all say that? I'm just, yeah, um, I'm just I, I'm right. making a suggestion that we um, say that the RSC is disappointed that we may need to wait until spring 2024. To apply for CPA funds. Okay. Can we say, um, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, does that sound okay, Dan? Sure. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's PC. Okay. Um, and then there was one uh, mention of the adding dehumidifiers to prevent more from developing. We were going to ask yeah. the building maintenance, but did we talk about that? I can't yes, remember. We did. We did. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dan mentioned it. So, okay, so we'll get back. Did they have dehumidifiers de last week? Yeah. No, they, they, don't, they don't do anything for that building. Really change. Um, so that was it for the minutes. Um, so just with that one change. Uh, okay. Motion to approve as amended. Okay, can I get a second? Well, I can't second it. You have to. Oh, can I second it as the chair? Why not? Okay, second. <laughs> All in favor of approving? Aye. 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 Okay, great. Okay, moving on. Um, Sarah Lynn's bullet points from the town meeting speech. Dan, did you get a chance to pull those together? I did. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> Sarah, the bullet points from her. From Carol. Carolyn. Carolyn, and basically what looks to be a scope of work. Amy, I'll send this to you right now. To ensure robust public engagement. Wow. Is that what she said? Well, that's what that's what was written on her little um, okay. presentation. Sure. So, Amy, I just uh, emailed that to you from my phone. Um, but I'll read it. Uh, select board to engage a firm to undertake a reuse 
uh, feasibility study for the rest of school building. Show up before coordination with town administration and select board and community neighbors and advocacy groups to ensure robust public engagement. Pre development stabilization, construction and operating budget estimates. Funding source identification, including but not limited to state and federal grant and historic tax credits. Assist in project advocacy with state, local, and federal officials and partners. Help frame the decision making process for the town and define the case for the following four outcomes. Public project the building will be funded by public sources with a public end use. Public slash private partnership. The building will be funded by both public and private sources with both public and private users. Eligibility for historic and other tax credits will be reviewed. <clears throat> private project, the building will be offered for sale or long-term use to the private market with potential deed restrictions. Demolition, a review of the process, procedures, and costs for such actions will be included in the report. Also looking at other studies previously for Rux's school. I, she's talking about feasibility study. Okay. Yeah, I guess the other, you know, the other be, between Old Mohawk and the. Um, uh, ERA report and whatever one was way before both of those for the original one when they needed the grammar school. Mm -hmm. They might, I, apparently they did a study. I wasn't around um, for a few years back then. So. Apparently, there was a, a study to try to make that building into some type of pool use. And, uh, you but know, there never was another uh, committee like ours yet. Not really. I mean, there was the Municipal Building Committee. And you, you focused on this for a while. We focused on all the buildings. And mm -hmm. you know, the Rump School was one that's like, well, we don't have the time or money to look at that building right now. So that's going on the back burner until we figure out some, you know, how to get some safe and usable buildings up there. Mm -hmm. But there was no specific committee, I think, until the actual Rump School Committee formed. And I forget if that was 2019 or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's 19 and it, it sort of spun out of control really quick because of COVID. What what committee are you talking about? The Rutgers School Committee. There was an original. And there was one? Yeah, it was like 2019 or 2020. Oh. And Alan was there and there was a bunch of other um, spaces that I recognized, but don't I don't remember because I don't hang out with the people. Um, uh -huh. And a bunch of people showed up to the to the meetings and you know, there was a lot of conversation, but then it's probably 2020 then if it, if COVID if COVID interrupted. I think so. That's March 2020 is when everything yeah. was either 19 or 20, and it went for like a few months, at, you know, two or three mm -hmm. months at the very most before mm -hmm. it got you know just disbanded mm -hmm. organically. And, and so it was an official committee like ours. It was. And I'm sure we could we could find the members, but um yes, I think we should have more members. Good idea, but you know you can't you can't make people just hang on their lives. But... <laughs> no, but we can certainly ask the select board to um, promote that. That's true. We could. I, and I don't think they, you know, shake a stick at that because they're you know this town is run by mostly volunteers so it, the more volunteers we get the more eyes and ears on the project the better yeah exactly i wish we had some names from that survey <laughs> we do have some names i mean i can ask i can send a totally separate email to folks to see if they're interested in some positive ones yeah no i guess we have to just do it across the board <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we could do that. So, okay, so looking at the scope of work, um, any comments, thoughts? Well, this is a lot of work for the select board. Um, it says select board to engage. Engage a firm, which is, yeah, you know, it's a lot of work. For, it's a lot of work for the, with, for the firm, but it's, mm -hmm. it's um, you know, if the select board is going to engage that firm, one would kind of guess that 
their appointed committee to deal with the building in particular would be the people to sort of get firsthand uh, look at, at how the firm is operating. I'm not going to tell the select board how to how to operate, but you'd figure if they have a subcommittee such as ours that's been appointed to deal with it, that we'd be the first line of defense or offense or whatever to deal with it. So yeah, so after the meeting that we had last time, I checked in with Carolyn because we wanted to be part of the process. Um, mm -hmm. um and I think her response was not positive. Um, yeah. I essentially asked how we can help in the feasibility process and how we can finalize uh, RFQ or at least review it before it's posted. Um, and she said, we already have the scope of work. If you remember, that is what was approved by the select board to be presented at town meeting. Jake, Gary, and Carolyn will work on the project. Um, the RFP is prepared under the require requirements from the Office of the Inspector General, and they're very specific. Jake? And Jake is from uh, Architectural Heritage Foundation. Okay, all right. Um, Carolyn and Gary, yeah. Gary Burke. Oh, and Gary. Okay. So it doesn't make any sense. But has Jake already been hired? Well, that's that's what I was confused about because the scope of work is what the Architectural Heritage Foundation provided to them. But I mean, I think that would be great, but we also need to ask other people, like Old Mohawk. Well, I mean, you know, providing a scope of work is one thing, but actually um, hiring the company comes after the bid proposal comes back. That's right. That's right. So, you know, Architecture Foundation should not. I mean, if that if if have they're put in the game already, right? Well, if they if they provided, they said they were going to provide a certain amount of hours for free, and if they're yeah. you know forwarding uh, a preliminary scope of work is they you know included in that forty hours. Oh, I thought it was six. I forget. I don't remember uh, how many hours. I don't remember. They were they were uh, you know didn't seem like very many, and I and I assumed that just. Taking a survey of, I mean, taking a like, look at the building was yeah. took up all the hours. Sure. I mean, that's that's out of their way. I don't know where what uh what part of the state are they from? Boston. Yeah, so that's a couple hours each way. Yeah. And uh, you know, certainly so a couple six hours. hours here. Yeah. Don't you think they were here longer than a couple hours? Yeah, probably did. They probably worked for a couple of hours, right? And you know, meeting people and well, you were there, Courtney, weren't you? Mm -hmm. How how long were they around? Um, I can't remember in the building for like maybe forty five minutes, and they chatted before and after. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Ah. They and they made that all oh, the roof will be fine. Yeah, no, in forty five minutes they just decided. Yeah, and that was a super dry day, and they, you know. Yeah. So maybe they do have extra hours. So why why did Carolyn say we should not be involved in the process? We don't know. I mean, I have thoughts, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I I um I would highly recommend that they you know start to you know as soon as they get get any kind of movement on this that so they use our committee and. Our enthusiasm to make sure that the because I'm I'm not biased. I mean, I'm sure I want to save the building, but again, I wouldn't you know hold this town to to something they didn't want to do. So it's important to get everybody involved and, and um, you know hear everybody's stories and and opinions. Should we go be going to this like board again about this? Well, if anybody has, I mean, we have, I think the NBC is going to go in front of Solar Board tomorrow. So I'll be there tomorrow. If anybody has questions for the public comment, I can, I don't mind, you know, saying something before their meeting because it's not going to be something that's on their agenda. But I can, I can feed them questions or comments from this committee during that section of their meeting. And what are they going to be talking about with the NBC? Um, they're going to go over the, the current projects that need to go out.
per bit, which is the town hall columns and the uh, the Goodwin the, the old Goodwin building project. The um, elevator and the bathroom or something. Yeah. Originally, it was supposed to be split up into two phases. Try to save as much CPA money as possible, and they because the more they the more they put it off, the higher the costs get. So now they're trying to fit it all into one big thing. It's probably going to suck up all the PBA money. So it's either it's either do or die uh, for that project for the next meeting. Um, you know, the you know my opinion about that particular thing is that the Goodwin has a good roof. Yes, I noticed that on the way in. Yeah, so Why we don't that the, the the you know needing to use that building right away is 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 important either. You know, it's just as important as using the Russell School right away. There's no immediate need for that building. You know, right now it's occupied by Hadley Media, and it's oh. it's you know being used for that, and uh, you know it fits into the to what they need, and they're getting good use out of it. So I want to make sure that we're sticking to the agenda. Yep. Thank you. Wait, uh, can we ask Thanks. Amy if we should be going to the select board for opinion? Amy. Well, yeah, you you could. I wouldn't suggest. I mean, I guess you could tomorrow night, but tomorrow night's going to be a very, very, very hot night. Um, <clears throat> with the Young Men's Club public forum. Oh, it's a public forum. <laughs> yeah. This That's why your, I was on two hour long meetings today. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah. I, I, you know, if I were to say anything during that meeting, it would just be comments within the two or three minute period that, that's allowed, and it would just be something for a later meeting. But um, I, yeah, uh, that's point, fine. Point Thank so, you. So, Amy, yeah, but I yeah, if you want to do that tomorrow, that's fine. Okay. Is there a new um, town administrator? Then, is there a new one? Not administrator, uh, whatever you call it. Um, ad administrator to the administrator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jennifer. Jennifer's new uh, yeah. replacement. Oh, the HR director. <clears throat> In the way it was called. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Jenna. Um, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Jennifer is licensing. She's still there. <clears throat> and then our HR person quit or oh. left. So um, there's a new one hopefully coming on soon. Um, so, okay. but I think, I yeah, I believe so. Um, what I would suggest would be if you wanted to say something in the public comment section, then I could take it as a note and have them add it as a agenda item for the for future. Yeah. Right. If that works. Yeah, I mean, anything said in public comment section really doesn't, you know, there's no reason for or um, you don't need to act on that at all. It's just a, a public comment. And if there are possibilities, you know, if I were to stick a question or a comment in from this committee, it would just purely be for, you know, an agenda item or not, you know, for a, for a later. Future. Yeah. For a future, yeah. For future discussion. Well, and to encourage, encourage them to, to get the RFP out, the ASAP. Um, the time time is uh, is not on our side <laughs> so yeah so in terms of that i checked in with carolyn about that as well um, yeah <clears throat> because it's essentially you know six weeks start to finish if everything goes well which brings us to august 15th which is the cpa deadline um and i said you know we would like to get it on the warrant in the fall uh do you think this would be feasible um given the CPA deadline, and if not, is there another way that you'd suggest us getting it on the warrant? She did not respond to the la the second question, um, mm -hmm. but the first one, she basically said, you know, there's many projects ahead of ours, um, but the plan is to complete it in July. Um, 
and for us to be patient. Plan to com complete what? The RFP. The RFP. The RFP. Well, at any rate, I certainly, at the very least, I can offer our assistance if needed um, to help them assemble, a, a, you know, the RFP. Or, you know, we're 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 here for them to bounce questions off of. Um, we certainly, um, you know, they don't need need our approval for anything. But they did appoint us to look at this in particular, yeah, so it's yeah. it's important to to include us in the conversation. So I can you know, say something like that. <clears throat> I think well, that's fair. Yeah, looking at these things, public project, uh, public private partnership, then down to demolition. I mean, were they not looking at the survey at all? It's as if the survey is being redone again. So the feasibility study is going to include. All the options possible. Yeah, so that and it says everyone's that well informed on all of the options uh, to make a more informed decision. Not included. So this is actually ignoring the survey. Well, I guess not I necessarily. I think. I think what my. Um, cause I, I, I suggested having another survey and I think where my mind was going with that was, um, so now before we had multiple options and multiple ideas and now we're kind of down to four and I kind of would like to see where the residents would want to land on that given the information, because I think before it was, there wasn't really dollar values and amounts. Um, associated with it. And I think once we have that feasibility study and all of the information with that, um, I think there would be a lot of value in an additional survey saying, okay, we got your responses from before. We did a feasibility study. We're going to go to the CPA. Um, now, here's what we found from this feasibility study. Okay, here, what do you think now that the parameters and everything are a lot more tightened up? Um, and you could decide that that you don't need to because it's going to go to town meeting, but I think um, having the survey that everyone can like share and get out there further um, would give you more leverage at town hall because I think people that come to town meeting are like polarized <clears throat> on one side or the other of an issue, and it would be nice to see a full, well-rounded, um, you know, general, you know, consensus. So I hear you. And we received many more survey responses than maybe all surveys that have happened in Hadley. Um, it sounded like folks were really impressed by getting over, I think we got 560 responses. Um, so if you have any advice on how to get more people to respond, that would be great. I mean, we posted um, online, we put it in the water bill, um, we put it in the post office and uh, town hall and the mm -hmm. library mm -hmm. and the senior center. I just don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it was already robust, a, already a robust response. So if the select board is asking for more, um, I don't know how that's going to happen. No, no yeah, I, the select board wasn't asking for it. It was just my personal. It was yeah, just like right. a personal thought. But I think what you with, were saying it, was, I mean, once dollar amounts <clears throat> are attached to each of the um, uh, repairs needed, then the survey may come out differently. <clears throat> Is that what you were saying? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you you did get a lot of responses, and I think one of the things that, and you know, I'll I'm not really throwing anyone under the bus, but I think one thing that that Joyce said was, well, that's only you know, two hundred and something actual residents of the town, and I said, well, you know, they did split it out, um, okay. but I think. Yeah, because you guys did fantastic. I am not knocking the survey at all. I thought it was enlightening and I thought it was wonderful. Absolutely. But um, what I'm saying is that, 
you know, when you have the dollar amounts attached to everything. Um, and I think people, when the feasibility of study is done, are really going to have a lot more emotion to it because, okay, it's just been something that has been kicked down the road for years and years and years. And so people in their head are like, oh, we're not losing Russell, Russell School. It's still there. And it's like, okay, no, the feasibility study is done. This is it. Like either we're saving this amazing building that our town has, or it's gone forever. And when we say like gone forever, I mean, an option would be to demolish it. Do we want to spend the money to demolish it? Or do we want to give it up for private use? And I think it would make it more real for people. Like, oh like we're at the end of the road now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, when you, you can as assign dollar amounts to each of these, and, you know, a couple of these items in the scope of work, um, you know, funding sources, I don't identification including but not limited to uh state and federal grant and historic tax credits well you never know what you're going to get so it's hard to apply that to the feasibility study um no, it help frame the help frame the decision process for uh for the town and define case for the following four outcomes um well you know according to the survey the majority of the town has made its decision and adding a dollar amount to it certainly puts things into perspective. But the, the four bullet points, public project, public private project, private project and demolition are lined up in order uh, according to how much they would cost. You know, public project being that's gonna okay. cost the yeah. most and demolition that's gonna cost the least. But- Well, it might not. It, I mean, that's the other thing is, yeah, demolition could come, you know, comes with a million bucks. I would well, guess. with a far greater uh, cost, you know, above and beyond money, and that's a that's true. It's a you know, it's a blow to the to the town's spirit, and you know, um, you lose the town's confidence as right. a, a town government to do things right, and you you lose a building to demolition, or you lose a building to divest to private interests. Um, You've lost the confidence of your town to, to govern properly, um, especially when the survey said that the majority of the town would like to keep this building for its future use. So um, their costs above and beyond mm -hmm. uh, the, the fiduciary, you know, the, the, the fiscal um, costs. Well, I actually think that I, I kind of agree with Amy that I think when the dollar signs are put on there, People are going to say, oh, dear. So we had the dollar signs. Did um, we? Yes, we had the dollar signs. Well, we didn't have the dollar signs for, for operation. You know, we don't yeah, know what the operation is. We had all of these four bullet points. We certainly did. For the stabilization. You're talking about. No, we had the stabilization. We had the sale. Uh, well, sales, nothing. We had leasing and we had demo. I think we... That was only an estimate for the demo, I think. Yeah, be but it'll still be an estimate coming from the feasibility study. Sure, I hope so. Um, Especially if you want to do it in the green way, the things are saved and recycled, and that's a lot more expensive than just crashing it. Oh, yeah, and a lot of the, I mean, <clears throat> the, it's, it's not built during the time period when asbestos was the best material. That was the hooker school. So there's probably not as much asbestos. It's probably not as much asbestos as lead in that building. But when you demolish it, it all becomes friable. It all becomes one big mismatch. So in fact, a majority of that stuff gets shipped off to Minerva, and it costs a fortune. You have to double line each dumpster truck with plastic bags. And have you ever tried to double line a dumpster with plastic? It's not no, easy. Not so that stuff costs money. And uh, there's well, I think things are separated on site is if you're going to do it the green way. Um, yes, it's very expensive. <clears throat> so when they said 900 bucks, thousand dollars, I just thought, oh dear, that's not enough. Well, and, you know, above beyond that, the, the you know, we had stabilization costs for for uh, to stabilize the building, not to reuse it. And to, to, that's right. To that's reuse right. it is a completely different cost, right? Right. From just stabilizing it. And you know, the the town really has to come to grips. You know, 
uh, with uh, the, the, the longevity of the project. How long is this particular phase of the project going to last? And then when are you going to be able to use the building? And, you know, right, stabilization might, might cost one to two million, but you're still not going to be able to use the building. And then you're going to redo a certain other part of the building, maybe the windows. Um, Insulation. That's that's yeah. another yeah three quarters of a million or whatever, and you're still not going to be able to use the building. And there's all these other costs that come along with using. You have to rebuild the porches and the, and the approaches. All the steps need to be rebuilt. Um, that's another cost, you're and ramp. you're still not going to be able to use the building. But you know, if if you think that you're going to put ten or twelve million dollars into the building and it's still not going to be usable, well, that's not real. If you put that kind of money into the building, you're going to get to the point where it's very, ever thought that. very it, close to usability. I'll tell you, if it sits around, though, it costs it's going to it goes up. up enough. And, you know, honestly, I don't think these big numbers really scare our residents as much as, yeah. as, as town hall thinks. This building was 7.1 million. That building over there was six, six plus million. The, right. the, the North Hadley Villa Station was, was another six million. So that was almost, that was 18. 18 to 21 million in, in a very short span of time. And this town did our taxes did go up. Their taxes did go up, <laughs> but our town didn't waver. The people voted for it. They knew what we needed. Mm -hmm. They knew it needed to be done. And this I think is another one of those projects. And I don't think that the, the town takes it lightly. Do you think this is another one of these projects? Oh, absolutely. And don't <laughs> don't be fooled that you're going to get away with spending two million dollars on I'm not sure that the select board. Amy, do you feel that the select board thinks that way? Oh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I mean, I I can say that I think it's probably 50 50 or <laughs> two to three. Um, you know, it, it's yeah, I think it's a really split vote. Pardon like, I'm, I'm a bleeding heart. So I'm like, I wish I could just buy it privately fix it up myself <laughs> get donations fix it up and then give it back to the town um i know that the joyce i i think joyce was um of the opinion of just getting rid of it I, I don't even think she would care if it was demolished um i don't know where randy and jane sit on it well i i had the feeling jane was with us on it well, yeah, nobody wants to so make a hasty tough. decision. It's tough. Nobody wants to really rush into things, and that's understood. But this has been a long time coming, sure, yes. and it is a big project, and it is a huge decision. It's not just for for us and our tax dollars; it's for the future tax dollars and, and what those people are going to need. And you know, we'll all be long gone. Um, well, I will be before you. Uh, it, it, you know, it, you know, my my point is we're we're trying to be responsible. To the community, not necessarily what we want. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, we all got wants and hopes and dreams right. and everything, but let's be responsible about what a community and what the country actually needs here. And uh, you know, it's important, I think, to show that we have some kind of integrity and respect for our, our past as well as our future. Um, so I agree. Sorry, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, so the survey that we did, four hundred thirty-two Hadley residents filled it out. It was only one hundred thirty who were outside of Hadley, and we separated them out. Just want to make sure that's on record. I'm um, putting it in the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also checked in with Allison about our thoughts for doing another survey. Um, uh huh. She said it's. Probably fine, you know, it would happen after the feasibility study is complete and people can review it, etc. Mm -hmm. Um, she said it will be tricky to have only had the residents fill it out because uh unless they put in their name and address and we send it to the clerk's office and they double check that, that person who from that address, we cannot confirm 100 percent that that's the person who filled it out. Um, but well, we can I'm, use the honor system. You, yeah. Are you a Hadley resident? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you could still have it as a question on there just to yeah. potentially weed out someone who might not be. What about people who own businesses in town? Yeah, they feel like we should include because there's right. 39 people out of the 130 who are not having residents who work in town, and I imagine some of them are business owners. Yeah. 
How do you know that? Is that part of the mm -hmm. survey? Yes. Yeah. You work in I town? mean, you could have that also. Like, do you work in town? Yes or no. Do you own a business in town? Yes or no. You pay taxes to the Or town. maybe, yeah, do you pay taxes at Hadley? <laughs> I don't know. That might be a little too. That might be a little too personal, okay. <laughs> even if it is an anonymous survey. <laughs> but I mean, it's true. Like, how many people work outside of the town that don't even that drive on that road? Right? right. There's plenty of people that live here that have probably only driven by that once or twice a year. Or maybe their kids go to school here. Mm hmm that's true a lot, a lot oh, of school choice school choice thing yeah well Hadley does have a good reputation for a good school yeah <clears throat> uh, okay anything else in terms of the survey the past survey or the uh, future survey is that an agenda item uh, yes yeah I did ask Amy what if we do another uh five I did ask Amy if uh, we could potentially get some funding from town if we end up doing the survey again since the because since the last yeah, time. Alan donated ninety nine ninety some dollars for the survey. How much? Yeah, so how much it costs? Survey monkey thing for what was it? Thousand, yeah, I think it was ninety nine dollars a month, and we did four months. Really, he paid all that. You paid some too. I'd be willing to donate too. Okay, thank you. I guess I should comment. So we had a few Yeah, but if months. the town wants us to do it, the town should be able to assist us with that. That's right, exactly right. They should phone me up. And we had it for up for a thousand residents, a thousand respondents. I, oh, up to a thousand respondents. Yeah. I've been doing the old minutes, trying to do an annual report for everybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we're going to get there. About halfway through. <laughs> do you want to talk about it now? That's um, the second thing on the agenda that we need to go over. Second? Well. I thought the survey have, was number five. No. So under miscellaneous, there's a bunch of things. So there's one oh. thing we have to discuss, and then the next is the town report. Would you like to talk about that now? Uh, well, what I've been doing is um, I wrote pretty, you know, back then, <laughs> extensive minutes. And so I could, you know, reconstruct what, what happened to each of it. And we and we worked very fast at the beginning, you know, the survey and the forum, um, different speakers coming in. Yeah. So I'm to there. Um, okay, I, so it's probably going to be about six pages long. Do you think that's too long? Amy, do you think that's too long for a select board report? Six meet, uh, six minutes? Six pages. No. Oh, six pages? Yeah. I don't think so. And it's, it's a bit, I mean, you try to consider as a, it's an annual report yes. or just a report? Just the report to the select board to let them what we've been doing. How wonderful we've been. I, I think about when I think about reports to the select board, I think about um, a report that will go on the uh, you know, annual report that you've got. Oh, oh man. And so you probably think yeah, that right. page, 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 page. Right. I mean, some, some departments, I'm sure, have several pages, but we're a committee. And for um, municipal building, well, I can yes, yeah, I can make a, one page, sure. Yeah, sort of try to boil but it I, down. I, but yeah, we did this, we did this, we did this. Right. I mean, it's nice to have some results and whatnot, <laughs> things, but. But I also here. wanted to see that, you know, show the select board that we we weren't just talking about pie in the sky. We had really studied the matter. I remember <laughs> that one night. <laughs> <clears throat> you brought in someone about um, housing. <laughs> gave, I gave that person a hard time. <laughs> because I didn't, I thought that that's what you wanted. No. <laughs> no. And uh, so I read the minutes from that. 
And uh, I was slightly embarrassed about my behavior, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, okay, so yeah. if you can keep going on that, and then I can I can submit a one page uh, with the annual report. We all well, have to do. Everybody has to do that. So I'll do a one. Page. No, not everybody. We were not invited to participate this year, so I asked Jane about it after the fact. Yeah. Um, that we weren't included in the town report, and she said, "Well, not everybody is included. Um, you know the the mosquito off." out people aren't and I was like but don't you think that the Russell School Committee's work is important yeah to be put in there um yeah. and so I asked that we could be invited to participate next year uh so Amy if you keep that on your radar for um including us next year that would be appreciated thanks to be here okay they didn't do the mosquito opt-out that was one of the most lit town meetings I've been to. <laughs> I didn't hear the word she used. The most it lit. was the most lit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was uh there were quite a few aggressive people on both sides of that one. Yeah, I bet. Well yeah, what bothered me about that was that the Board of Health made a recommendation. The select board just blew them off. Right. So same same thing happened to us. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, so we're okay. Um, okay, so moving. So if ahead. you want help with that, you know, as you boil that stuff down, please yeah. reach out to us because I, you know, of course I will. Yeah. I'll send it to you. Yeah, well, I'll read it over and suggestions and send it. And thank you for that. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but it also was illuminating. That's how I knew that Alan had volunteered to be oh. nine. <laughs> <laughs> And that we could have up to a thousand respondents. Well, uh, well, like all the things you included in the CPA application. Mm -hmm. When I read that, I was I was blown away. That was a lot of work, a lot of stuff that you put in there. Yeah, Dan and I worked uh, pretty closely on that, and Ellen um, helped with uh, uh, pieces of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, there were like eight or nine things, and so yeah. I wanted to include them, for example. Yeah. yeah. In the long report. <clears throat> um, so next on the agenda is heavy media. Um, as I shared the email last week, uh, they won't be recording past August 1st for us. Um, but there are options for us to record on our own if we so choose. Uh, sure. So we want to well, doesn't your that? cell phone record? So Hadley Media won't be doing the recording, but do we have access to the OWL and stuff so that we can record the thing? And I don't think so. No? So we have to find a way to, to record the meeting or just do so it on Zoom? We can Zoom. just record it on Zoom. Record it on somebody's it's laptop. Be my face full time, but... Hi, I'm, I'm here. Um, so the letter said that um, yeah. you can... Hello. So you can either, A, go on... You can... Um, grab a Zoom link from Jennifer in the select board office, or we can um, sign out an owl to you to have the meetings recorded. Um, and we are offering training. Yes, I remember that. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Alex. I don't understand what you said. For the minutes, I need to. So either we can do Zoom. Zoom, which. Like usual. Right. It's an option to record, and we just use someone's laptop. Yeah. yeah, and so that would just be my face because I would be putting on my laptop. Yeah. Um, or we can rent out the owl from Happy Media. This thing. Oh, that's an owl. <laughs> um, and so, what do you mean we rent it at any cost? I don't think so. Oh no, no cost. No cost, but we will. There, there is a, a quick training on how to set it up and. Uh huh. Running. And then we borrow it for the meeting and return it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Alan. Alex. Alex. Um, so do we want to do that? Do the owl thing? I think it might not matter. Um, it's it's certainly more um, more efficient. Um, uh, 
inclusive when you get to see more people's faces. Sure. And yeah. I would, I would advocate for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we're not as pretty as Courtney. Well, you know. So what can we say? <laughs> You're gonna take the bad with the good, right? <laughs> um, I would I would be in favor of, of recording as much as possible. So yeah, either way, sure. but, you know, so I, I would imagine that the owl is not going to be or equipment from Hadley Media is not going to be available each time. So um, we could I you know advocate to get it as much as possible. Yeah, okay. We can always um uh Suggest to select board to increase the amount of uh, budget that the idiot needs and get yeah. more of that effective equipment. Yeah. Well, I think they probably don't have a lot of people in there doing it. But that could be part of it. Yeah. You know, you know Alex will be getting busy. And I do appreciate all of your work, Alex. Yes, um, thank you. And, um, uh, you know, it, Things have definitely been getting better, and and uh, yeah. you know, if we can keep that going, and anything we can do to 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 help, let us know. Okay. Um. So posting minutes. Um. I think I mentioned at the last meeting that Jennifer was working on getting minutes up for for all committees and boards. Um, last I uh, spoke with her was about two weeks ago. She said she was working with a website company to help create pages for the community for the committees without pages like us. Um, I haven't heard back from her yet, so I'll check back with her in a couple weeks just to give her a little more time uh, to see what the status is on that. Um, well, we've got a large number of minutes. I mean, we met every other week for. Yeah, she ha she has them all. But she hasn't posted any of them. No, they haven't been posted yet. So I'm going to give her a couple more weeks. Um, but something that I've said, I've, I've asked many times was to be added to the uh, the board list um, on the website, um, just so people know that we're a committee. Yeah, that we're a committee. And the contact yeah. information, uh, we still haven't been added to that. So I don't know if, Amy, you have any suggestions on how we can get our name on there, because um, I've asked Carolyn and Jennifer and Jane. <clears throat> okay yeah i can definitely do that and i think tomorrow we're going over um different liaisons um different committees for people to be liaisons for um so that's another thing that i can make a note and bring up um for her just to make sure that those are all posted um <clears throat> and i'm going to make a note of that right now so, Amy, will you continue to be the liaison now that you're chair? Do you guys That's hate me? <laughs> well, no. we, we love you. We want you to stay. We want you to come, come to the meeting. Uh, I'm just wondering. Yeah. It's so nice chair. having you here because we have so many questions that you can answer for us. Yeah. <laughs> to be chair is a big deal. And even if you can't answer the questions, yeah. at least you can ask them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, here's the. <laughs> Um, I, so I've already talked to the, the heavy hitting ones, um, and I've kind of asked, you know, like the, um, oh, I don't know, this is being recorded. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. so I won't be, I won't be taking on any, um, large committees, I think they have all we've all kind of decided um, on who will be taking the really big ones like dpw um fire and police so um that won't be me <laughs> uh so i will have the opportunity for you guys um okay. if you will still have me <laughs> yeah, sure. thank you yes thank you and it's good and it's good to have a liaison that is um really passionate I think about what you're doing um and that's kind of where I I mean I I will never hide it that I my main goal is like I I hope that this is what happens but like I hope it gets restored I hope it gets used for town use and is available to the public like that 
for that's my personal thing obviously I can't be like out there trying to like shove it down anyone's throat but that that's for me personally like I really believe in what you guys are doing and I really believe that restoring the not just stabilizing but like restoring the building and having it available for the for public use is the best option for the town as a whole um but that that's just me yeah and it, you know that um you know that attitude really works i mean uh, joyce has always been a uh, first responder backer uh safety first backer and it's bring it's it's brought this town to a different level. Um, she's you know she's been here for many many years, yeah. and she's very very consistent on that. And where she doesn't like the Russell School too much, you know, so you know, yeah. maybe she's had an effect on that too. But the things that she's passionate about yeah. have gone quite a ways. And you know, I remember the days when the you know the police and fire station was over on West Street in that tiny little building. And they did an awful lot of work out of that tiny little shack. <laughs> and now um, we have a lot of equipment and we have a lot of, uh, you know, we have ambulance service going. We've got a lot of stuff going on. And a lot of that's thanks to Joyce and how she promotes that and is, has, you know, she's in a position to uh, bring that to the forefront at a lot of meetings. So, you know, that, you know, if you're passionate about something you're on select board, it's going to work. So, I would encourage you to not give up that particular fight. I mean, we definitely, uh, you know, the people who voted, you know, and filled out the survey in favor of saving that building do appreciate it. So that's the majority. Okay. So, yes. Thank you for your work. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We'll, All right, so we'll be behind you. <laughs> Um, so new business, um, I just passed out this form yeah. uh, for folks to fill out um, to uh, decide if you would like to be reappointed. Um, it's due on June 14th. Um, so if you want to take it home for any reason, feel free. Uh, otherwise, you can fill it out at the meeting and get it back to me. Um, I've reached out to Alan. I have not heard back about his uh, interest in uh, being reappointed. So, Question for Amy. Can this form be used for more than one committee? Yeah. Mm. It's a it's because I put Russell School and Municipal Building Committee. I hope that works. I think so. It says boards slash committees. I, okay. So yeah, I I don't see why not. I mean, if you can be one thing, be efficient. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I, I think you're fine. Definitely not very committee. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, no, it says singular board or committee for which your appointment is sought. Singular. Do you yeah, have to fill out more? But on the top it says board hmm. slash committee, so I don't know. Well, that's well, not helpful. <laughs> yeah. Um, any other new business? No, when you said about listed on the website, um, Emma, us, mm -hmm. and you, did you say Alan or not? You well, I, in terms of being listed on the website, I just want to make sure that the Russell School Committee is listed. is listed as a committee and to have our Gmail account on there so people can have us. Not, not the names of the committee members. Oh, not the names of the really? Huh. I mean, once we have our own page, we'll have the committee members on there. But the board list only has... The names of the, the committees, names of the not yeah. the members. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Anything else before we clear out what the next meeting is going to be? I didn't take care of the notes. Recorded. Refer to that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I would only um, circle back a little bit to the uh, the bullet points in the scope of work yeah. and point out that. Um, you know, there's four options here, and um, you know, it, that's that's what I would imagine that the firm is going to present to town. And when it comes down to uh, public-private partnership uh, <laughs> or private project, um, that can be 
um, very complicated. And mm -hmm. there's a, so a, a cost associated with that type of thing, and it's mostly uh, uh, costing time. So if, if in fact, the town were to opt for partnership of some sort or mm -hmm. a private uh, sale, I would, you know, try to have that, you know, have a lot of work with this, whatever firm, to, you know, get our committee involved with that firm mm -hmm. to make sure that, um, you know, whatever type of um, option is, is sought after or looked at, you know, we get a, a more than robust um, cooperation and communication with town members who may be interested in that type of partnership or private endeavor. Um, again, that can be pretty complicated, especially a partnership. Yeah. Um, insurance wise, um, how the building is put together. Um, you know who operates who you know who, who's paying for what operating costs um who's paying for what part of the you know the renovations um all that stuff can take a lot of time yeah. to figure out and actually get a, a game plan together so that type of cost really has to be looked at closely mm -hmm. and you know without that firm working closely with us and we have you know we have a lot of names we have a lot of you know responses from that survey we could reach out to a lot of these people and get their ideas as as well as you know their feelings of how much they would like to become involved I mean I'd love to be a partner you know in some type of thing like that but who, who are the other partners going to be is there going to be some kind of is there going to be a nonprofit formed is there going to be uh, a nonprofit like uh, Hadley Historic Society that would like to become involved and be a partner. Um, there's lots of different things and has a big effect on um, those other costs that are other than money. Well, the most we come in. so I guess I'm not. I'm confused about this. Are you saying that the feasibility study might? They will talk about the public private partnership they might recommend it they might you know they well the thing is they're supposed to advocate for all four of these in earnest which four means, there are five which five well there's, there's four the, the last one which is also looking at other studies is just going to be included in their scope of work oh so mm -hmm. um okay you know they're supposed to you know uh, recommend each one of these things with with dollar values assigned um, but not necessarily time frames assigned. So, you know, even the first one, if it's a private or a public project, there's no timetable so associated with that. And, you know, the, the way our committee originally wanted to do this is just stabilize the building and worry about use later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a particular cost. And the cost for bringing it farther toward usability is a different cost and is on a different time right, scale right, right, and right. will be in a different point in time. So if these things aren't taken into perspective and taken out of taken way out of perspective, well, why isn't just the stabilization included here? Um, <clears throat> you know, you would have to ask the select board that question. Yeah, I'll ask because I have to ask about Jake's participation as well. Um, yeah, I'll ask about that. Well, oh, this number two above the scope of the work for the feasibility study. That's number two up above one to include some stabilization. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, a feasibility study will identify funding sources. Well, I, you know, I. You know, I hate to say it, but it, it seems like the scope of work and these bullet points are, um, you know, divisive in trying to um, <clears throat> drive up the cost, stretch out the timetable, and make the whole project 
go toward demolition. You mean much, much more complicated. You know? yeah. It just seems like, it's, it, and a lot of this, you know, with, with the uh, pre-development stabilization construction operating estimates, that's, is that a sentence? Is that a statement? Is that a request? What is that? I mean, that's Well, each really one of those things is going to have a budget estimate. Um, but pre-development, what does that mean? It's, it seems to be a lot of political speak just to sound like you know what you're talking about type of stuff. It really doesn't say anything. Pre-development? Um, I also don't love under the private project, it says sale or long-term lease. I don't think both of those should be put together because some people are fine with owning the property, continuing to own the property and leasing it out, but others, uh, and those people are also uh, opposed to the sale. Yeah. Which is uh, why we separated them out in our survey. Well, that's right. a big or there. Yeah, so, I mean, that's why, that's why I say that, you know, like, I don't, I hate to say this, but it sounds the whole thing sounds divisive, and and um, you know, I, you know, we didn't recommend any of this stuff. In this no, I, that's the thing. And, and where and it's it, not, where it's not our from? building; it's the whole town's building. And we were, I think, we were very um, cautious as to make the options that we put out on the survey um, to the point and concise and complete, so that the town had obvious and clear choices to how they would proceed if it were theirs, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, jumbling everything up, mixing up everything like that, it just makes it more confusing. And Well, like number one, coordination with town administration, the cycling community, to ensure robust public engagement. Uh, didn't we do that yes. in this committee? Yes. I mean, if that's what the firm wants to do, come straight to us because we've done that. We already so, did that. Yeah. That's why I was thinking of doing a this um, you know yeah. re recap of what we've done over here. I'm just I'm just afraid that they're not gonna come to us. It seems like they don't want to be involved at all. So I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I just feel like they don't want us involved at all. So I don't know that they will come to us. I can go. Right, I'll go. She and I are dog partners. She has a dog. That's how I met her. Anyway, I just wanted to point those things out before we close the meeting. Yeah, no, that, well, that's I all the important. Thank you for that. I don't who who wrote this, do you know? Hey, Carolyn. Carolyn. I really don't know. And I, you know, I don't have a clue. I mean, especially after after looking at all our survey stuff, who wrote this? I don't know. Yes. Oh, well, the scope of work, I, you know what? I think this was done by Architectural and Heritage Foundation. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of gobbledygook. Pardon my French. Um, I can uh, let you know about that. Yes, please. Very much. All right. Um, so next meeting, um, when do we think makes sense to meet next? Do you want to do another month? Yeah, I guess. So a month out, uh, Fourth of July. Fourth of July. So oh, yes. What about the, the following week, the 11th, 12th, or 13th, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday? 11th, I will have a meeting okay. but, uh, and not be available for this one. Okay. But the 12th or 13th is open. Okay. Carolyn? First Wednesdays yeah. are usually select for. Second Wednesday of the month is usually a select for. Okay. And then is that the 12th? So maybe the 13th. Amy, does the 13th work for you? July 13th for the next meeting? I think maybe she left. That should be fine. Yeah. I don't see a reason why not. I don't take holidays or vacations, so I'm always here. Is select for going to meet? every other week all summer long? As far as I know, unless there needs to be like an emergency meeting for weather executive board or something else. So you're not taking any time off? I don't think so. Not that I'm aware of. We have a lot going on at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I know. Summer's often a busy time. Uh. 
Okay, so the 13th it is? Yeah. Yep, yeah, the 13th it is. I was thinking maybe we should meet before, but I guess no. Well, we can consider that as the meeting before whatever their next meeting will be on sure. the 19th or 26th. Okay. Uh, right. So you think that the, and Amy didn't write this, the, um, the reuse feasibility study. Um, motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Amy.